All right, guys, just a quick, quick, quick video on the missions and what you get from them. So you can access the missions in several ways. Um, number one, you can go to one of these terminals and access them. It'll show you all the missions available. And you can only do the missions from the terminal. Um, you can also, but you can look at the missions in your inventory. Here's the mission list, and here they are. So the bulb dog fetch, if you complete this one, which happens in the world, you get egg hatching increase. Right, as you can see, uh, each one gives you more. So if you do the alpha one, you get 36 hours of egg increase. Choose your own adventure. This is just basically a fight where you got to run through a whole bunch of stuff and fight a bunch of holographic creatures. And then you get health regen. Uh, circuit chase, which I just uh, posted a video by the time you guys see this. I see asteroid crate quality increase. So you'll get the loot drops. They'll be higher value. Then you have the downriver run. Oh, excuse me. The cold red. Code Rev gives you a hexagon reward. Um, so you get more hexagons, basically. Hmm? For that many hours. Everything you do gets you a higher reward of hexagons. The Downriver Run. Crop growth increase. The Ferox Chill. This one happens in the world. Uh, wild Dino Damage Decrease. Which has to be pretty cool. I haven't tried that mission yet. Then there's a Life Support one. Me and my daughter have tried this one. It's pretty tough. You can take tame mounts in there. Uh, your team mounts can die just keep that in mind uh, you get stamina drain decrease the maywing poach this one will give you a mating interval decrease and this one happens in the world not in the simulation the parasaur roundup I, I worked on this one this one's about an hour mission and they give you a net pretty close in you're supposed to net these parasaurs but it doesn't work it's it's stupid so i don't know i just i got bored with it and got out of it but there you get a survival boon whatever that is your metabolism is more effective. Uh, Shadow main prowl. Do this one. Tame dino damage is uh, increase. So if you're fighting with your dinos, they're going to do better. The slide and glide, which I just showed you guys. That one gives you a baby boom increase. Oh, hold on a second, guys. All right. Sorry about that. Um, uh, what was that? Okay, the slipstream, this one gives you resource regen increase. The star dolphin one, oh my gosh, this one's horrible. Uh, harvesting health increase, three minutes. So maybe I'll go do that one real quick. I, I think I've tried that one. I thought I did that one. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I glitched out and died. I think that one's so glitched you can't even do it. Then you have star wing strike, which I just showed you guys as well. That's the asteroid resource amount survive the arc taming speed increase and then team down river run oh survive the arc you fight 10 rounds of creatures um, from all the different arcs it's pretty cool they're all holo they're not holographic they're real they give you some weapons to use it's pretty cool i would recommend taking at least one other person in there with you uh team down river run this one just gives you a scan you got to have at least one other person with you to do this one and then the velanosaur start stock this happens in world and you get every experience gain increase okay so there you go guys that's the uh mission list if this was helpful uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time hello there